Guys, how are you? Have you had a good week? Have you played any golf? It's been a pretty interesting week for myself this week. My Instagram account's gone really big and got up to 3,000 people because a few people shared my trick shots, which I was really excited about. Um, so that's all really good news. Um, but more importantly, I have my first event for 2017. Um, and uh, it was it was good. I mean, it was it definitely could have been a lot better. But I think for the first one of the year, um, I think I coped with it uh, mentally pretty well. I stuck to my game plan, um, and um, there was some pretty good golf in there. Um, there definitely a lot of work to be done. Um, but um, as a starting point, um, I think there's a lot of positives to take away from it. So I was quite excited. Um, even though I didn't feel like it after the round because I think that I could have played a lot better and I'll show you why and I'll show you the stats of the round um, But overall, I think it was relatively um, a good start So what I want to show you let's go straight into it. So a four over I was in in the end um, And it could have been a lot better. I feel like four over was the worst I could have probably produced that day um, Because I put myself in such good chances like all the time but we'll get into that in a bit. So tied 10th, four over, I mean there was 16 people playing, but um, I mean four over, three over, um, it was like two shots tied in with being like fifth, so um, a few missed chips and whatnot, and I could definitely have been in top five. So I think that's why I was a bit disappointed with the result in the end. I mean, I didn't, four over is the best score like, of 2016. Like, I didn't shoot four over last year, as you guys know. So um, obviously that's a very good start um, to my season going forward and obviously puts me in a good place I think to put myself into those top positions um, when I start cutting away the silly mistakes um, and then obviously making a few more um, birdies <coughs> um, and or even eagles but we'll get into that. So um, ideally I want to try and film the practice rounds for you guys so you get to see the golf courses that I'm playing at, the kind of level it is, how difficult they are, how not difficult they are. Um, I won't be filming the actual um, round itself just because I want to 100% fully commit to my golf um, and try and pull the best result I possibly can from it. But I think if I can film the practice rounds, at least like three or four holes, you get an idea of where I'm playing. But South Winchester, great golf course, um, in really good condition for this time of year. Greens were lightning. So I highly recommend going and playing that because it's a very good golf course and it's perfect for me because it is so open. Some holes are long, they're not particularly long, it depends where the wind direction is. But some holes are longer than others, um, and but it's open. Like I had two massive block rights but I was on another fairway and I had a 7 iron or an 8 iron left into the flag. One of them I even made birdie from so it was a golf course quite set up for me. Um, but let's get into the round. So let's have a look. So here's my scorecard that I kind of made up to show you guys um, what, um, where the good bits were and where they weren't. So I had six bogeys, two birdies, both on the par fives. Um, and we can look at the stats here. So greens in regulation was abysmal, like seven greens in regulation through 18 holes. And I still shot four over. I did get up and down from quite a few places, which is good, obviously. Um, but I mean, these greens in regulation, considering my fairways that I was hitting, so I hit 10 fairways, smoked the driver, um, apart from the two block rights, smoked the driver, and I'm leaving myself within 80 yards of the, um, of the flag. And I was hitting them out the back, I was leaving them short, it was, it was awful. If I had my short game that I had from Hankley Common, um, I could have easily been level one under, um, just because I felt so confident in it. But for some reason on the day, my wedge play just didn't turn up. Couldn't get it within anywhere near the flag stick, or even on the green for that matter. And it was just in a bit embarrassing. I mean, I was hitting drives like 310, 320, leaving myself like a flick in. And then I'll thin it out the back, and it's just, it was, it was, it, that, I think that's why I was quite annoyed. Um, I always feel like if you get up and down or you save shots or your whole long putts for example, you walk away going, oh I actually performed quite well that day, whereas it was the opposite. I was hitting great shots down the fairway, leaving myself brilliant chances to make birdie and then all of a sudden I'm now struggling to save for par. So shaky start, I mean I bogeyed the first two holes, adrenaline, hearts racing, 
it, it was, and again, it's quite, it's something I've got to get used to, something that you've got to try and calm down and try and think about what you're doing. Um, I think I was a bit unlucky on the second hole, the par three, I hit a pitching wedge into the flag, it was like 130, came up short. I thought it was the club, especially where the wind was. Um, but yeah, so the first two holes, two bogeys, par five, downwind, really short, and I drive a seven iron into the flag, put it to about 10 foot, and then left my putt short, because I just pretty much lagged it just for the birdie. And again, I think that's something that's gonna come um, going forward where I can be a bit more aggressive or know that I can hit it past the hole and know that I've definitely got my birdie chance. And my birdie putt, last thing you wanna do is free whack there. And then, I mean, it was pretty just standard golf. I mean, I was hitting the drive down the middle of most of the fairways um, and then leaving myself a wedge into the flag um, or not for a lot of the cases. So you can see here, like I've had 10 fairways hit with my driver, but all these missed greens basically where I wasn't hitting, these are like 100 yards from the flag, 80 yards from the flag. And it's so annoying because that should be the easy stuff. Like once you're nailed down the fairway and you've got 100 yards to the flag, you should be within, well I feel like I should be within like five foot, 10 foot of the flag each time, giving yourself that chance for that birdie. Rather than now having to make like a 25 yard up and down to save par. Um, but I mean like the back nine, especially like you see 12, 13, 14, 15, I was just creaming the drive. And obviously that's something that I've really had to work on over the winter. So that's really promising to see, obviously 10 fairways out of 14 is pretty good average. Um, and if I could keep that for the season, then that's definitely gonna help. Putting was really good. I mean, obviously I did have to make quite a few six footers, eight footers to save par um, because I was my wedge play was just kept missing the green. So I'm having to get up and down a lot. 31 putts, solid, I mean, I'd take that, but for the amount of like greens um, I'd missed, you can say that actually that 31 putts might be a bit high. Whereas I could have probably made a few more and again, saved some shots, but it was definitely the greens in regulation, seven greens in regulation out of um, 18, it just isn't good enough really. Um, and it's obviously something that now I've got my next event coming March, um, I've got now three weeks to really work on that and I think if I can get my wedge play especially like my 60 yard 80 yard 100 yard pitch shots Which is a lot of these golf courses. I mean these aren't relatively long golf courses because the amateurs have got to play it as well um, And obviously you want them to have fun and you're not gonna put them off the massive backs So when you're playing these prime events the golf courses are set up to be short You're not playing like seven one seven two golf courses where you're hitting driver five iron into all the flags where a lot of the European tour guys that's basically the length that they're obviously playing to. So I need to get better at that 60 yard, 80 yard, 100 yard um, pitch shot, because once I've got that down, um, it's gonna make scoring a hell of a lot easier. So that's an idea of my round at South Winchester. I was, I think well, after I've come away from it, I slept on it, I was like, actually, I'm quite happy with the way, um, there's a lot of positives to take away from the round, which is good. Um, but obviously I need, I now know, and I think this is why it's good and this is why I'm making these kind of videos. I'd love to see in a year's time come back to this and have a look and see obviously where I am then to where I am now and go, seven greens in regulation, well that's crap. Um, so obviously I put the work in and it might be a case in a year's time I'll come back and I had like 10 greens in regulation or 11 greens in regulation, I'm going that's awful. But at the time, um, obviously I would have made a bit of progress um, going forward. So I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. I will be doing more stuff on the course next week, which I'm looking forward to, um, trying to get playing. As I say, it's just been mental this week, really busy, um, but all for the good, all for the best. Um, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. As always, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.